Okay, our next presentation is from Alex Shaganaga. She is a PhD student in bioagricultural sciences and pest management. And um, she's uh, her little fun fact interesting piece is that she actually has international agriculture experience because she was selected to be an NSF funded participant of the Rice Research to Pro Production course at the International Rice Research Institute in the Philippines. The title of her presentation today is Agriculture in a Changing Climate, Preventing Heat-Induced Plant Disease Susceptibility. Okay, um, 32. We have 32 breeding cycles before we reach the year 2050, which by at that point, if we keep continuing with the current agricultural practices, we are using today, we will not be able to feed the 10 billion people that are expected to inhabit our planet by that time. Which means that we have 32 years, if not less, to create a more sustainable food source to help prevent um, global food insecurity um, and reach the goal to help future generations to be able to thrive. Two of the major threats to modern agriculture today include increased temperature, which are expected to be a consequence of global climate change, as well as plant pathogens. It's known that under increased temperatures, plant pathogens are able to multiply more quickly inside of the host, which will result in plants becoming more vulnerable to disease and ultimately lead to diminished crop yields. However, with plants being sessile creatures, they cannot physically move themselves out of these stressful conditions, which means that they need to be able to not only detect that they are under certain stress, but to also be able to deploy an appropriate response to that stress. The way that plants are actually able to do this is through plant hormones. So yes, similar to animals, plants contain these hormones, which are small molecules that allow them to not only perceive that they are under stress, but to also deploy that appropriate response to that given stress. In my research, what I'm focusing on is understanding the role that a certain plant hormone, referred to as cytokinin, um, is playing in relation to disease susceptibility under high temperature stress. Um, what my research has been showing is that um, when this plant hormone cytokinin is not functional inside of the plant host, the pathogen's ability to multiply under this high temperature stress has decreased. What this means is that it could lead to two new strategies that we could use in modern agriculture. There could be a chemical approach where we could apply a cytokinin signaling antagonist, or we can go through a more biotechnological approach where we could use such technologies as CRISPR-Cas to manipulate the cytokinin signaling pathway of various um, important crop species. What both of these will lead to is the, that we can reduce the pathogen multiplication under increased temperature um, by simply using a natural plant product that is common to all plant species. So as a result, what this research could lead to is a way to help improve um, global food security amid an ever-changing climate within only 32 breeding cycles. Thank you. Thank you.